My name is Jacqueline Ripstein. I've been an artist for 36 years. I work as the United Nations uh, as an ECOSOC representative for the International Association for, of Educators for World Peace. One of my main concerns has always been about the peace and the safety and the uniteness of humanity. I've always wanted to create this a space where the arts could take the role of inspiring people to another level. Welcome, art-loving viewers, to Enlightening Entertainment. Today we'll have a special treat for the sight and soul, featuring paintings by the internationally celebrated artist, Ms. Jacqueline Ripstein. Jacqueline Ripstein was born in Mexico City, Mexico. From childhood, she felt a strong attraction to the arts and taught herself to paint. At age 12, she won the International Prismacolor Arts Competition and at age 19, she had already painted internationally acclaimed masterpieces. About her early years as an artist, Jacqueline once stated, When I was a little girl, I believed in magic. My wand and my brush transported me to the invisible world. As she was not satisfied with traditional painting methods, Miss Ripstein searched for a new painting technique that could more fully express the inner life of humans. She developed the technique Art in Motion, which was patented in 1976, and after years of searching into the secrets of colors, she found the Invisible Art and Light Technique, which was patented in 1982. Today, her paintings have been exhibited internationally in over 360 art shows and have been featured in books at special events and seminars. Her paintings have been displayed in the United Nations headquarters in New York, USA and can be found in select collections throughout the world such as former UK Prime Minister Miss Margaret Thatcher's private collection and the presidential collection in the artist's native Mexico. Ms. Ripstein was so kind to introduce some of her elevating paintings. This painting is called Life, and in this painting, the main message is about how many times have we felt destroyed, like you see here in the case of the shipwreck, and the ship itself has the name of life, and how many times have we felt that we had a loss uh, of wealth, of health, of a loved one, or within ourselves that we didn't even have the strength to move on you know, to the next level. And the whole message of it, in reality, that there's an invisible world. And what happens in that invisible world? You see the boat sailing and complete, which is our spirit. And the message of this painting is that our spirit can never be destroyed. We also had the wonderful opportunity to interview Ms. Ripstein at the 2010 Arts Olympus event, which was held on board of the ship RMS Queen Mary in Long Beach, California, USA. I never tried to be an artist because I was an artist. I'm autodidactic. I even wanted to go to Africa and save the animals because I re really never was thinking of being an artist because I believe that when you are, you are, and when you try to be, you lose the being. So it was just such a natural that God just flowed me into being and it started creating as an artist. Jacqueline Ripstein asks others to see things from another perspective and to ask themselves, 
are we aware of our existence in the invisible world? Just because I really had asked God, God, give me something to show people your light, give me something to show people the energy fields that we don't see, our spirit, all the invisible, which out of 24, 24 in a day, hours, we're really in the invisible world. Our thoughts are in the invisible. Our feelings are in the invisible. When we're sleeping, we're in the invisible. So it's important for people to understand that we are creating our lives from the inner side, from what we don't see. At the 2010 Arts Olympus event, Ms. Ripstein was also a panelist for the National Association of Women for the Arts and delivered a speech about the role of the arts in the year 2012. I've given a proposal several times, starting in the Parliament of the World Religion, where the proposal was to use the arts as an instrument for world peace. Einstein used to say, if you cannot solve a problem, you cannot solve it from the level where it was created. You need to move one octave, which is a frequency, above it in order to be able to solve it. Now, if you think about it, that octave is a scale, a color, a sound, and the creative forces. The way we humans have in order to tap into our peace is to higher our vibrations into a level of our own creative forces. I don't know if you know, but the era of peace, Pisces that we just moved into the era of Aquarius was a blue color, masculine era. We were moving into the era of Aquarius, feminine and violet. That's why so many people are being dressed in violet like never before. The arts, the way I see it, will really lead people to another level, to a higher level when we can talk from heart to heart instead of mind to mind. If you think about it, who's our best enemy? Our own thoughts. So if we cannot escape from them, imagine if others can. So the whole idea is to really understand what's happening with the changes vibrationally that were energetic antennas. In many of her paintings, Ms. Ripstein expresses spiritual concepts. heaven to earth and I did it in the end of 2009. It represents the woman that's pregnant and if you see her she has a rose in her hand and she's about to give birth to the new humanity. Then the man has the fire and the key holding his, in his hand. You can see the pieces of the chest that have been broken which represent that we're entering into a new time where the cosmic chess game has totally changed. We're into another dimension, into different types of changes, not the same as before. So as you can see in Heaven to Earth when I put on the black light, the other dimension of the divine beings come down to us as we ascend in consciousness, we become one with them and they're guarding our world, our earth. I have a dolphin and life on earth, the animals, and the whole painting contains prayer and a quest of asking humanity to be awake and be part of this moment of consciousness. Mm -hmm.